What's up YouTube? Justin here. So today we're going to do a little something different. We're going to do an oil change on the Miata. Got to do some routine maintenance. So I figured I'd bring you all along. Enjoy. Alright guys. So first things first. I haven't started it at all this morning. So we're going to warm her up for about a minute. Since it's a little cold out. Get that oil running through. The old oil. And then uh, change her out. Alright guys, so now that I've warmed her up for about a minute, 30 seconds to a minute is really all you need at this point. It's about 55 degrees out right now. So wanted to warm her up a little bit so the oil drains a little better. But uh, now it's time to chalk it up, throw the jack stands on. Alright y'all, so once you've got your jack stands on, which I've had these Harbor Freight ones for a long time, and a lot of people complain about them, but I don't mind them. Anyway, give her a good shake. Make sure you're safe to go under there. And then, uh, obviously, you prop your hood. And uh, now it's time to get under the car. Alrighty, guys. So, I don't know if y'all can see, but the drain plug is right here when I'm putting that. Mine is a 19 or a 3 fourths is the equivalent. So, we're going to go ahead and crack this open. Lefty loosey bitey tidy. Don't pinch your fingers. And then uh, go ahead and loosen the drain bolt, drain plug. Go ahead and let it drain. Then uh, while that's draining, you can go ahead and get the uh, oil filter loosened and off. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so I had to crack it open with this because it was kind of tight. So now that's that's loosened. I didn't get to get it on camera. I get to loosen it all the way. It should come out just like that. Of course, I drop it right on the subframe. It's going to leak a little bit, but we'll clean it up. Easy clean. Usually get it like so and there you go now it's time to lubricate the new filter and put it on so now that the old oil filter is out and the drain plug is back in we go ahead and what I like to call charging the filter same thing as lubing it up but you want to put the oil inside the filter and around the rubber seal that keeps it from leaking when it's on the car. You always want to lube that up. They never really come pre-lubed and even if they do I'd always recommend putting some on just to make sure it gets on there tight and snug and so it's also gonna help you when you want to check the dipstick. Alright so once you've got your oil filter and drain plug back on it's time to take the jack stands off and lower the car and add the oil. So, now that you've got the car back on the ground and level, let's go ahead and add the oil. And then, once you've got all the oil required from the manufacturer, you're ready to go ahead and fire her up. Let's go ahead and fire her up for about another 30 seconds to a minute. And it settles down in there. Make sure you let it sit for about a minute to five minutes, depending on the viscosity of the oil. Um, and then go ahead and double check your dipstick. Make sure you've got all the oil on it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And it should be just at the full mark, which it's at the full mark. And there you go. That is the video for today. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace.